I'm warning you. Hey, Alon, don't bother yourself. Lay off. He's a legend for a reason. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 Bruce Lee moments. Number 10, Ice Factory, The Big Boss. Kicking off our list is the scene in which Lee's character is ambushed and outnumbered in an ice factory. Though unarmed, his attackers soon learn that they made a big mistake when he starts improvising. One of the poor saps even gets thrown through a wall, Roadrunner style. Seriously, with all those ice picks lying around, is this not the worst place to pick a fight with Bruce Lee? Number 9, Nunchuck Fight, Way of the Dragon. Chinese Kung Fu. In this flick, Lee is sent to Rome to help his family fight the local mafia. Oh, what rippling muscles. When he's taken into a back alley to be rubbed out, Lee quickly turns the tide. Interestingly, the bad guys regroup and are laughably ordered to kill him without using their guns. Go and get him, but no guns. This allows Lee to pull two sets of nunchucks out of nowhere get him. and whoop the thugs good and proper. No, for real though, where did he get those? Number 8. Upgrades. Enter the Dragon. When Lee finds his way into the villain's top secret underground lair, he is forced to get topless and take out the countless henchmen in his path. This fight keeps intensifying as he upgrades his weapons with every defeated opponent. These include a stick, metal rod, and finally, nunchucks. It's almost a shame the bad guys eventually stopped coming, because this could have gotten a lot crazier. Number 7. The Giant, Game of Death. Oh baby, here we go, it's yellow jumpsuit time. In a high point of this posthumous film, Lee battles the shades-wearing 7'2 basketball player Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. At 5'6, Lee looks positively dwarfish next to his opponent. As has happened in every kung fu movie ever, the smaller Lee manages to use his opponent's size against him and leaves him breathless. Number 6. Vengeance. Enter the Dragon. In this especially personal confrontation, oh, don't hit back. Lee comes face to face against the bearded, sadistic, and facially scarred O'Hara <laughs> in a martial arts tournament. The man who caused his sister to commit suicide, <gasps> Lee beats him to a pulp without ever taking a scratch. When O'Hara breaks the rules, Lee does more than hurt him, he goes right for his brains. Both of them. Number 5, Facing Petrov, Let me take care of him. Fists of Fury. This flick sees Lee on a quest for revenge against those who killed his master. This leads him to face Petrov, a sinister, suspender-wearing Russian played by Robert Baker, one of Lee's own Jeet Kune Do students. This fight is memorable for its punishing action and dry humor as Lee confounds his foe with smirks and blurry hand movements. He even bites the dude's leg. What martial arts school is that from? So you want to see how good you are? Then you must be tired of living. Number four, no respect, fist of fury. Surround him! This is the fight that helped transition Hong Kong action flicks from swordplay to barehanded fighting. With Lee's dead master mocked by a rival school, he shows up on their doorstep to teach them respect. This ballsy move pays off as he takes on the whole dojo single-handedly. Of course, he has to do this topless while creating a human hurricane, laying the beat down with nunchucks, and ultimately making them eat their own words. This time you're eating paper. The next time, it's gonna be glass. <laughs> Number
number three, finish him, the big boss, aka the Chinese connection. This classic sees Lee as a man who has sworn an oath of non-violence, but is forced to break that pledge in a big way. Specifically, to confront the man who murdered his family. Ultimately, Lee manages to win by deflecting a knife throw before going Mortal Kombat and thrusting his fingers into his enemy's chest. Striking with every bit of energy he's got, he ultimately collapses in fatigue. You have offended my family, and you have offended the Shaolin Temple. Number two, Hall of Mirrors, enter the dragon. In the last fight of his most famous film, Lee finally finds himself up against the claw-wearing Mr. Han. A fight in which he acquired the scratches across his body and face that became the most iconic image of his career. The fight goes totally surreal when he's led into a chamber of mirrors and forced to defy superstition. Number one versus Chuck Norris, Way of the Dragon. Taking the top spot on our list is cinema's ultimate East versus West showdown that pitted Lee against Norris in the Roman Colosseum. Everything here is legendary, from Lee's crackling preparation to systematically coaxing, taunting, and tearing down his opponent under the watchful eye of a stray cat. A grueling encounter, neither opponent shies away from fighting dirty. Remarkably, brutal though their fight was, Lee cannot walk away without acknowledging a worthy adversary. Agree with our list? How do you like that? Which Bruce freaking Lee moment is your favorite? Shit. For more entertaining top tens, <laughs> be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. from Hong Kong named Tang. Speak up! Well, where is he now? Chen and I, they all started learning karate so they could deal with those damn thugs. How about you? 